So I just arrived in Dubai and I went to Ibn Battuta by a mall. What am I even talking? Um, sorry, I didn't sleep enough. And uh, yeah, that's uh, like a station where the bus is from Abu Dhabi airport stop. And I went to the mall, inside the mall, and it's so beautiful. As you see, like the that's the place going to the bathrooms. And it's like, it's so pretty. <laughs> Before going to Dubai, I didn't actually realize that uh, malls. So when I went to Dubai, I realized for the first time that malls actually can be beautiful because before that I I would think about them as you know something that you just use like it's just a space that you use because you have to buy things. Maybe it's like not very visible at the moment, but it's like so pretty, and it's not the famous Dubai mall, which is also very beautiful. Uh, but it's even Batuta Mall, which, <laughs> which is also beautiful. So, <laughs> there's at least like two very beautiful malls in Dubai, <laughs> and probably there's more. But I'm not like a person who sees every mall when I see a city, so I will not see every beautiful mall in Dubai. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, look at this. Look at this, and this is a mall. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> I would never think that a mall can be so beautiful. I mean, I've already seen Dubai Mall, like last time when, when I was in Dubai. So, right now, I, I know that malls can be really beautiful, but it's so beautiful. <laughs> like, look at this. It's amazing. <laughs> Wow, I, I did not expect that to be honest. Like when I was walking inside the mall, I just went there to go to Carrefour and to go to bathroom also. But this is another place that looks like so stunning and so amazing. Like look at this, this is a masterpiece. Like <laughs> they made a mall looking like this. And this is not the first mall that looks so stunning in Dubai. Like Dubai mall is the most famous for looking stunning and amazing and this is like another one <laughs> wow very annoying fact i just tried to buy a i had to buy powder but i <laughs> they told me that i chose a powder that was like the best from the powders that i was trying and it was expensive but they told me it's in a sale and it was supposed to be like 40 percent sale and i was like okay if it's 40 percent i can take it <laughs> and it turned out there was no sale so I ended up with no fucking powder <laughs> because I was like I'm not going back to other powders that were not good you know that were most likely not uh, suiting me uh, <laughs> I was like <laughs> and I'm very afraid that I will forget to buy a powder in Dubai and then I will be fucking fucked because like next time I'm going to Philippines next time I'm going to Japan next time I'm going to Korea and I heard very bad things about makeup in those countries like when it comes to makeup products and I also don't like style of Asian way, uh, makeup in general but also I don't know how, how it look I don't like how it looks on me and I know that they have really bad uh, you know everybody doing very bad things when it comes to powders and foundations there so Oh, that will be tragedy if I forget to buy it today and I'm afraid that I will fucking forget to buy it because I forget about everything and right now I was like oh at least I will buy it before I forget <laughs> you know I was in Tunisia court by the way and now I'm going to Andalusia, Andalusia court, court which will be like that, that one was very much in style of Tunisia uh, that was uh, that was uh, <laughs> yeah like uh, looked like Sidi Busaid uh, where I was in Tunisia, like I really like this place by the way, I really like Tunisia and I really like that place and this one actually uh, it, yeah, it is definitely inspired by Andal Andalusia looks like this from this side they have a lot of like pharmacies and stuff like this but they don't have a lot of shops with cosmetics which is like <sighs> fuck pharmacies bro I don't want to look disgusting, I don't care about medication <laughs> I mean, it depends. Some of the medications I cannot live without, but <laughs> you know, they don't have them probably anyway. And now a place that looks like this. So this is another part of this uh, <laughs> of this mall, and this is Persia Court. 
it's so pretty <laughs> like i don't know which one i like the most uh also like this one with egyptian things that was egypt called of course and this one is persia and i thought first that it looks like uzbekistan but actually that makes sense because like, uzbekistan has a very similar architecture to, uh, to iran and it's because like those people that were designing the buildings in uzbekistan they were actually from iran so that makes sense oh my god it's so pretty look at this like this is so amazing like wow how much like work and how much you know creativity they put into designing a shopping mall like in europe they basically just you know make a normal building with like nothing special in it and here they really make it look special like how much they they had to pay those people also to design something like that it was like a lot of hours that they had to be thinking like you know about every detail <laughs> like it's really impressive and also this this is also in Persia mall as you probably can guess from the architectural style i just walked out of the mall they say it's going to be 40 degrees today <laughs> in october that's crazy Right now I'm going to uh, Atlantis uh, Hotel because I've never been to Atlantis Hotel before. I'm not going to be there as a guest, of course. I'm not going to sleep there. I'm just going to see the hotel from outside because uh, the architecture of the hotel is very beautiful. I've never been there before. I wanted to go the last time when I was in Dubai, but I had no time because Dubai is big and... <laughs> I decided not to go to the hotel as, uh, that, because like I would have to spend some money just to enter <laughs> so yeah and I don't know exactly which part I would like to see because it's very big <laughs> and I don't have a lot of time like I have a few hours today in Dubai but I want to be at the airport early because I don't know how to check in for my flight <laughs> so I am not going inside the hotel unfortunately Next time I will just take more money and I will have more time and then I will go. Here is Buja! Ah. <laughs> yeah, here is the hotel. Here is one of the most fa famous buildings of Dubai. And it's a bit covered by other buildings. My body keeps betraying me today, like I'm feeling so awful. I barely can walk, like I have such stomach ache and I've been having this stomach ache for like last three days and yesterday it was a bit better i had like intense stomach ache for only maybe half an hour but most of the day i was fine but today must, my stomach ache is back and that's why i'm not working as much as i planned to but i'm trying to do most of the things that i plan to do and i'm not going to go to the hotel directly because that would be a lot of walking and my stomach ache today is like ah. Uh, so I'm I will just try to take some pictures from afar and take some pictures that look good I am in the Dubai, Dubai mall right now and it's full of people I'm going to go to some grocery store and then I'm going to see wings of Mexico Which is like a statue that I wanted to see before when I was in Dubai, but I didn't manage to find it It's very close to, uh, to Burj Khalifa uh, to the biggest, uh, to the tallest building in the world, in the world. So um, maybe I will also show it because I will probably be passing by because it's very close. So and The bad thing about the big malls is that it's very difficult to find anything and because I don't know this mall very well I was like I gave up on looking for a stupid grocery store like I'm going to buy groceries as well because I don't want to be looking for this stupid store for like few hours so I'm going to my wings of Mexico and by the way this is Burj Khalifa I'm walking in the direction of this uh, sculpture, of this statue that I wanted to take a picture of like when I was in Dubai, I think two years ago or maybe one year ago <laughs> and this time I'm going, inshallah, I have this time I'm going to find it because I got lost then This way uh, to the wings of Mexico looks amazing This way uh, to the wings of Mexico looks amazing 
This is amazing. I'm very close, by the way. <laughs> and the sunset. Oh, <laughs> I finally arrived at the wings, and there's this long queue of people waiting to take a picture of the wings. But I will wait in this queue. Never mind. <laughs> but still, I wish there wasn't a big queue. I know I forgot to make a conclusion. I did take that picture. I was waiting for one hour, but I did. So, uh, bye. See you in the next vlog. I'm waiting for another flight. <laughs>